financial innovations and, and uh, startups and I'm extremely happy to, to welcome the Nestholma and uh, uh, House 11 here in our premises. Uh, this is what uh, where, where Serbia is getting stronger and stronger every day. We know that your IT sector is very good at the moment and, and your Prime Minister is driving this agenda all the time. So I think this is an excellent opportunity now to exchange uh, the views what, what, what practices we have in, in Finland and uh, what, what do you have here in Serbia and what do you need from our part. So, welcome. Thank you very much. Industry, whatever the topic, we've been there to grow with our companies. Currently, as the ambassador put it well, uh, one of our priorities on our annual agenda is digitalization in wider terms, but also when focusing on areas which we can contribute to most, uh, fintech and financial institutions are, of course, our main target. Um, the Finnish case, so to call it, has been an interesting one. In 1984, maybe you remember the year by uh, title of George Orwell's 1984, but this is a different topic. In 1984, in Finland, the first 56k dial-up modem online banking payments were made available to consumers and customers. In 1984, this was a groundbreaking. Now all of us probably have available different services which we use in terms of online banking every day. But we have a lot to share and to learn from the Nordic and in this case Finnish experience. In 2001, at the start of the century, in the Nordic countries, over 30% of all transactions were done digitally and online. This is something that is an impressive figure for any country in the world. And Serbia being on the, on the track of change and trying to digitalize in this way, I think and feel that the Nordic experience can be a way to skip a step. To be this alliance for helping me and supporting me to organize this event today. Um, I I'm not into fintech. I have I have um, nothing to do with finance. I'm a corporate branding specialist, but I have, I have been working a lot with with Mobile Forum and with Nest Home and with other partner organizations in Finland, um, uh, developing and 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 improving the the financial uh, user interfaces, data visualization. Everything has to do with visuals. So. I have been growing my, myself together with these organizations um, and, and learning a lot about the industry at the same time. Um, my company has been working um, in the field of business intelligence, digital healthcare, space industry, finance and technology, geostrategic intelligence, gaming and education applications. Um, uh, everything and, and, and nothing in the same time and I'm still learning and I'm still improving and, and this today is going to be a great school for me, um, especially afterwards when we pass in the other room and, and have another chat. Because um, being Serbia and learning about Serbia, it's, it's another challenge. Um, when I was presenting to my guests um, a Serbian finance industry, I understood that I don't know much about it. And to the benefit of our members. So our members are um, mainly European, um, some from uh, North America as well. Uh, we also uh, have a couple of members from Africa, Middle East, so various locations. At the moment we have about 65 members. Um, banks, as I mentioned, um, payments, uh, card schemes, um, technology vendors. Uh, so big and, big and small, so small startups and, and larger uh, vendors like um, Jamalto, for example. Uh, so we're a business organization. Uh, we look at uh, the business rather than the technology. Uh, we'll analyze the, the impact of, of new technologies or regulations or uh, changes in the market, um, again from the bank perspective. And we look at things that are two to five years <coughs> from now, things that will happen in, in the future. Uh, and we pride ourselves in being very open and um, 
creating an, an atmosphere of collaboration for our members. So um, that's about mobile forum. So um, I'm here to talk about open banking, uh, and um, uh, I will uh, shortly tell you how I think open banking is affecting uh, regions beyond where the regulation is forcing banks to open up, uh, and I will use some examples from some of the work that we have done with our member banks uh, in analysing uh, strategic roles that banks can take in this new environment. Uh, so first, uh, open banking is not about regulation, it's not about PSE2 or Open Banking UK uh, or any other regulation, it's a market trend. So other industries have already gone through uh, digital disruption uh, and uh, moved on to a platform type of economy. But you need to treat them as equal partners and then you win the big. Quite many countries, uh, we have done investments in 12 countries. We worked with banks in, in India, just ended a big project in Hungary. Uh, Turkey is a big place for us. Our main market is, is Nordics, but uh, done different kinds of things. And that's what we say. This goes with most of the banks and insurance companies, of course, except our customers. And by the word vanity, I mean that it's not real. It doesn't deliver what our banks want to get. There's a KPI that do something with startups, renew your organization, and then this is the result. People have the hackathons, one night stands, something that is not what it should be. It should be a long process aligned with the strategy that the bank has. Uh, the trust tech logo there is because we did a research with them. We asked 6,000 uh, financial uh, institutions or 6,000 managers that, that how they are doing with the innovations. And some results. Uh, they are saying that 43% or 43% of them say that the culture what they have kills the corporations or universities. And in turn, 